In this quick demonstration, we're going to show you how to allocate a credit note to an invoice. We're going to use the top account, Concept Stationery Supplies, as the example. You'll see at the moment we've got a zero balance, which would tend to indicate there's nothing outstanding. But if we have a look at the activity, you'll see there are two transactions posted to the account. Transaction number one, which is a purchase invoice. Transaction number two, purchase credit. They're both for £120. And in the O stroke S column, which is the outstanding column, they both show £120. So they're both fully outstanding. Now, all we need to do to almost tidy up the account is to match them, or what we term allocate them together. So to do this, we go into the bank accounts area. We can select any account, but we'll just leave the bank current accounts selected. We're not actually going to show any money being received. All we're doing is we're allocating the two transactions together. So highlight your current account as an example, and then we want to go into supplier payment, and then bring up the supplier account, so concept stationary supplies. When we do that, the outstanding transactions are listed in this sort of table at the bottom. So we've got transaction 1, transaction 2. At the top, it defaults to the current program date, 15th of December in this example. And the value we need to leave set to 0. We're not actually receiving anything. All we want to do is match the transactions together. Now, this same technique is applicable if you want to allocate a payment on account to an invoice. So what we do is, in the payment column, we click against the credit transaction. So in this case, the PC, the purchase credit. And because they're the same value, all we do is I click pay in full, and it types in £120 for me. You notice the value at the top changes at the stage, and also the analysis, boss, uh, the analysis total at the bottom also changes. And all we do is we repeat that, pay in full, against the invoice transaction. And now the value at the top zeroes out, and so does the analysis total. So very simple. All we now have to do is to click Save. Just before I do that, I just want to explain. If the credit note was for a, a lower value than the invoice, then say it was, for instance, it was £50. In the payment column, we could either type in £50, or we could click Pay in Full it would put £50 in that payment column and then against the invoice we would type in £50 which is the value of the credit note or similarly if it was a payment on account we would do the same thing so it would put £50 and then we'd save it but in this case both transactions are the same value £120 each we've got £120 in each of the, against each transaction in the payment column we just save it and that's it done now if we just call up the account again, Concept Stationery Supplies, you'll see this time in the bottom section, nothing is outstanding. So nothing is listed this time around. Let's discard that. And if we go back to Suppliers, and again we'll have a look at the activity on this account, you'll see this time in the outstanding column, it doesn't list anything so these these transactions are fully allocated now the flag is effectively fully paid